Hello, I'm Mandy Davidson, your host for this presentation. My co-coach Leslie Mosier and myself have been involved in Power of the Pen for a combined total of 33 years and have been hosting this district tournament for the last three years. We're excited to be able to share these competition results with you today. Let's get started with our award ceremony. This has been a historic season for Power of the Pen, thanks to the pandemic. Normally, the tournament would be held in person at our school, but for everyone's safety, we retooled our program to go virtual. Though we couldn't gather at WCMS, we are grateful that we could support all the young writers of Power of the Pen. We'd like to remember our founders. Power of the Pen is saddened that we have lost our founders, Frank and Lorraine Merrill, who have both passed away recently. They started Power of the Pen in 1986, and we are sure that they would be ecstatic that even in the middle of a pandemic, the writing competitions continue. Thank you, Dayton Kiwanis. As a nonprofit organization, Power of the Pen depends on generous sponsors to provide funds to operate and staff tournaments and create learning materials such as the Book of Winners for Young Writers. We're grateful to Dayton Kiwanis for also sponsoring this year's district tournament. Welcome to the award ceremony for Power of the Pens West Carrollton District Tournament. On behalf of Kiwanis Club of Dayton, sponsor of the West Carrollton Tournament, I want to give a shout out to all the writers and judges who participated on January 30th. Kiwanis Club of Dayton is part of a global organization of volunteers dedicated to making a positive, lasting impact in the lives of children. One of the ways our Dayton Club fulfills that mission is by helping young writers discover and sharpen their skills through Power of the Pen. For more than 20 years, it has been our pleasure to sponsor this district tournament and to provide additional financial support for the Power of the Pen program. Congratulations to the writers, coaches, and teams being honored today. Best of luck to everyone moving on to the Western Ohio Regional Tournament next month. Thank you, coaches and judges. We'd like to thank our coaches and judges who made the tournament possible. Coaches, you've shown dedication and commitment to nurturing the talents of middle school writers, especially during the most challenging school year. Thank you, writers. We're proud of you for being part of Power of the Pen. We spend a lot of time practicing and polishing your work to prepare for tournaments. Getting up on a Saturday morning and writing in three 40 minute rounds just shows how important writing is to you. Your commitment to develop, developing your writing will serve you well throughout your life. As author and Power of the Pen alumna Justin A. Reynolds says, no one can tell a story the way you can. Your voice is important and we are thrilled that you chose Power of the Pen to help make your voice heard. Individual awards. Tournaments have been slightly smaller this year due to the pandemic. 12 schools participated in the tournament with 42 students writing in seventh grade and 44 students writing in eighth grade. The top 12 writers in each grade level are honored with awards. The writers in fourth through 12th place will receive a medallion. The third place winner at each grade level will receive a bronze medal. The second place winner a silver medal and the first place winner a gold medal. Please be patient with receiving awards. Paula McWilliams, our regional director, will be arranging with coaches to pick up awards, so it may take several months for students to receive their medals or medallions. So let's get started. Seventh grade of individual awards. 12th through fourth place will receive medallions, and third through first place will receive medals. Congratulations to all these outstanding seventh grade writers. In 12th place, from Van Buren Middle School, Bailey Booty. In 11th place, from Ankney Middle School, Phoebe Banks. In 10th place, from St. Charles Borromeo, Andrew Fink. In 9th place, from Tippecanoe Middle School, Alyssa Siders. In 8th place, from St. Charles Borromeo, Leah Fuente. In seventh place, from Van Buren Middle School, Ethan Griffith. 
in sixth place from St. Albert the Great, Estelle Roth. In fifth place from Holy Angels Dayton, Olivia Mongelli. And fourth place from Tippecanoe Middle School, Avery Anderson. In third place from St. Charles Borromeo, medal award winner with rank points one, two, one, Tabitha Irwin. In second place from Valley View Junior High, medal award winner with rank points one, two, one, Inara Arnett. And in first place from Oakwood Junior High, medal award winner with rank points one, 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 Tegan Williams. Congratulations to all these talented writers. Students who place in the top 12 will qualify for the online regional tournament, which will take place on March 13th. In addition, about the top 50% of the seventh grade writers in the district tournament will qualify for the online regional tournament. We will notify each school of its qualifiers within a few days after this awards ceremony. And now on to eighth grade. 12th through fourth place will receive a medallion, Third through first place will receive medals. Congratulations to all these outstanding eighth grade writers. Twelfth place from Tippecanoe Middle School, Sarah George. Eleventh place from Kettering Middle School, Gabby Weldy. Tenth place from St. Charles Borromeo, Rocco Pica. Ninth place from Tippecanoe Middle School, Madeline Gold. Eighth place from Ankeny Middle School, Zoe Temple. Seventh place from Oakwood Junior High, Elizabeth Irwin. Sixth place from St. Charles Borromeo, Rose Wentz. Fifth place from Ankeny Middle School, Addie Rodebaugh. Fourth place from Oakwood Junior High, Diane Rosenberg. Third place from St. Charles Borromeo, medal award winner with rank points of two, two, one, Mia Crinion. Second place from Ankeny Middle School with rank points two, one, one, Megan Shaw. And first place from Miami Valley School with rank points one, two, one, Riley Boyer. Congratulations to all these talented writers. Students who place in the top 12 will qualify for the online regional tournament, which will take place on March 13th. In addition, about the top 50% of the eighth grade writers in the district tournament will qualify for the online regional tournament. We will notify each school of its qualifiers within a few days after this award ceremony. Best of round winners, seventh grade round one, Tabitha Irwin, St. Charles Borromeo, for her piece, Member of the Pack, Coach Chris Bigelow. Round two, best of round winner, Caroline Cabis from Tippecanoe Middle School, for her piece, Makeshift Mom, Coach Bertasha Thompson. And in round three, our best of round winner for seventh grade, Inara Arnett, Valley View Junior High, for her piece, The Reckoning, Coach Jennifer Harshberger. Eighth grade best of round winners, round one, Eliana Williams, West Carrollton Middle School, for her piece, Lost and Found, Coach Leslie Mosier. Round two, Rose Wentz, from St. Charles Borromeo, for her piece, Memory, Coach Emily Eisenman. And for round three, Megan Shaw, Ankeny Middle School, Not the Best Idea, Coach Carol Brown. We had a Director's Choice Award to hand out for this tournament. Um, a Director's Choice Awards are given to writing that, while not selected for best of round, deserves special recognition. Um, Ainsley Richard, eighth grader from Valley View Middle School, for her piece, Grown Up, for Coach Jennifer Harshberger. Team Awards. 
Our seventh grade third place team, Ankeny Middle School from Beaver Creek, coached by Carol Brown. Second place, Tippecanoe Middle School, Tip City, coached by Bratasha Thompson. And the first place seventh grade team goes to St. Charles Borromeo Kettering, coached by Chris Bigelow. Congratulations to those top three teams. Third place, eighth grade team, Tippecanoe Middle School, Tip City, coached by Bridget Hughes. Second place, Ankeny Middle School, Beaver Creek, coached by Carol Brown. And our first place, eighth grade team is Weisenborn Junior High of Huber Heights, coached by Abby Hardin. Congratulations to the top three eighth grade teams. Some final announcements. Please be patient regarding delivery of awards. Arrangements will need to be made with coaches to deliver awards. It could be a couple of months before everyone receives their award. Schools will be notified by email of their individual results, including regional qualifiers. And we will email student writing ballots and instructions for the regional tournament within a few days after this award ceremony. Check out social media for news about Power of the Pen. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. We would love to hear from coaches, students, and parents about the impact Power of the Pen has had on their lives. We'd lo also love for you to send us photos of students practicing, whether in their homes, at school, or in a virtual meeting. Use the testimonial form in the right-hand column of the powerofthepen.org homepage. Thank you again for being part of Power of the Pen. Congratulations to all the to all who wrote today, and we look forward to seeing the writing from many of you at the regional tournament on March 13th, 2021. Thank you.